Hi guys, this is Wayne with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. Thanks for joining me today. Today's topic is gonna to be how to declutter like Marie Kondo. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. And today we're gonna to talk about how to declutter like Marie Kondo. She seems to be the new hot TV show right now and a lot of people are watching and uh, decluttering their homes. So we're gonna take a slight spin on that topic today because she focuses on what items make you happy. We're gonna focus on what items need to be removed to make the buyer happy. So just a slight spin on that. We got three things to talk about today. So number one, uh, more important than anything else is to, to, to declutter and clear your rooms and pathways. So what I'm talking about is in a lot of houses, uh, some rooms have multiple large pieces of furniture, maybe in uh, right when you come in the door, you have a little table or credenza, or maybe in the living room, you have a large armoire or, um, or, or a chair blocking pathways. What you wanna do is take those large pieces of furniture out when you're selling a house to make the room appear larger because everybody needs more space. So that's number one, remove large pieces of furniture or uh, repetitive pieces of furniture. In one house uh, I sold last year, one of the uh, owners had three large hutches right in the dining room against each of the walls and it made the dining room very small. It probably took away maybe five or six feet of space uh, and, and made the room seem small. So you wanna take those out, okay? Number two, you wanna clear your countertops, particularly in the kitchen and in the bathrooms because cluttered countertops make the space seem small. And if you're a chef or you like to cook, then you need all that counter space to prep your food. Or if you're in a bathroom, you need all that space to you know, put, put your, um, uh, your soap dish or your towels or your makeup and you need all that space. So just make sure, especially in smaller homes like condos, townhomes, or smaller single family homes, three bedroom homes, make sure you keep your countertops clear. So that's very easy to do. Lastly, number three, we're gonna talk about walls. A lot of homeowners have, uh, you know, pictures of, of family, uh, maybe, maybe 10 or 15 pictures of family on the stairway wall going upstairs, uh, or maybe in one of the kids' rooms, there's uh, all of the kids' trophies and awards and plaques, they're all hanging on the wall. Um, make sure we take that down because cluttered walls make the place feel messy and you wanna clear the walls to make more space. You can replace a lot of that with maybe one large contemporary piece of artwork. That would be very nice. Um, so those are the three things that we wanna focus on. Clear the rooms and pathways to remove uh, large pieces of furniture and make the room appear bigger. Clear countertops to make it appear that you have more space because you actually do have a lot of space, just need to take things out. And number three, clear the walls, okay? So that's our topic for today. That'll make any buyer happy when they come to your house and uh, more likely to put in a good offer. If there are any other topics that you want me to talk about, just let me know email or call me or contact me at the information at, this, uh, at the bottom of the screen. I'll be happy to make a new video for you, okay? Again, my name is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. Thanks guys, see you next time.